just going to give you a little bit of an update. My name is Debbie, and I am 53 years old. And this is my walk away video. For most of my life, I was a registered independent. But I voted Democrat for many years. I voted for Bill Clinton twice. I voted for Obama twice. And I had a brother who kept telling me, why do you keep voting the way you are? And my thing was, because I'm a lesbian and the Democrats are looking out for me, not the Republicans. Well, second term with Obama, and I start to see things that didn't make a lot of sense. I saw that things were being, this world was getting racially charged. I saw what was going on in Chicago, thinking, why is it so bad there? And then the whole thing with the Affordable Care Act, my insurance went from great insurance that I didn't pay that much for, but my deductible was very low. My prescriptions were very low. Almost a year after the Affordable Care Act gets jammed in, and through an executive order, the next time I had to renew my insurance, the premiums went up, co-pays went up, um, the minimums went up, your deductibles. So when I may have had a thousand dollar deductible, now it's three thousand. Her family plan, it's $6,500. Who can afford that? I went a couple of years without having insurance. And I got fined from the state that I'm in for not having insurance. Then I got hit again for federally for not having insurance. And those two fines together were less than what I was paying for insurance. So it's a lesser of two evils. Now we can talk about the um, elections that were coming up with Hillary versus Trump. When Trump first got into the ring, I kind of laughed, going, he's never going to go anywhere. This is kind of funny. And as he starts taking out one Republican after another and after another and after another, so he's found the nominee. I'm like, whoa, I need to check into a few things. I went back looking up all sorts of videos from him. Things that he was saying way back when he was on Phil Donahue about the direction that this country was going. Before he even thought about running or being in politics. Everything that he said then is what he's saying now. There are so many other videos that are out there of things that he said way before even being in the political spotlight. People really should check that out. Then, I start doing a lot of checking into Hillary Clinton and finding out how dirty she was, how dirty the Clintons are. Then looked into more things about the Democratic National Committee the things that they pulled. The fact that the Democrats are the ones that have been holding us down forever. They want us poor. They want um, people of color to abort their children. They are the ones that are racist. And the more I look into it, the more I see how racist they actually are. 
I have not seen or heard anything come out of President Trump's mouth about race. I've never heard him say anything disparagingly about homosexuals. He hasn't. And it's crazy. I, I, I get so irritated watching the mainstream media with them lying over and over and over. One of the biggest things that I witnessed was his inaugura inauguration, saying that nobody was there. Well, they manipulated the, folder, the photos to look like there was nobody there, but it was when it first started, when people started just going in. The other thing th that I've seen is that if Trump says something, they don't put up the whole thing. They'll just take a little bit to get a soundbite to make him look like he's racist, homophobic. And then I'll go back and watch the whole video. And see, that's not what he was saying. So, I talked to a few people. And started questioning things. And I had people saying, oh my God, are you going to support Donald Trump? Are you crazy? I had people calling me out. Telling me they would never talk to me again. On Facebook. I had, I was in different groups that people started throwing me out of groups, telling me that I couldn't be in these groups anymore because I would not support Hillary Clinton. Well, Hillary Clinton was going to be a terrible president. And she was part of this, if they want to call it New World Order, of just taking over everything and taking our rights from us. And I just, I just couldn't. And now I find myself, uh, yes, and I did, I did vote for Donald Trump. And I will vote for Donald Trump again. Because I totally, totally agree with protecting our borders, having the wall, giving us different health care options, deregulating a lot of, of things that he's done to help us. We're right now the number one supplier of oil and gas. The United States is making money. We're back in that world stage of being up there. We don't, he's not apologizing to anybody. This is how it is. America's first and that's it. And I know I'm going on a tangent here, but there's just, just so many things I get so frustrated watching and listening to people just saying that he is a racist. Well, how is he a racist? Show me that he's a racist. I haven't seen it. Show me that he's um, anti-Semitic. He is not. His daughter is married to a Jewish man. She converted to Judaism. She, her children are Jewish. This is just more hate-filled lies that the left is doing. It, it took me not a long time to find out all the stuff that, that, that the left was lying about. And I ended up walking away when I went to the voting booth and voted for Donald Trump. I will never, ever, ever again vote for a Democrat. They're not looking out for us. They're looking out for themselves. Peace out.